All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you guys can make a Fortnite banner for your YouTube channel. Whether you guys wanna follow the exact banner that you guys see in the thumbnail to the T with me, you guys can. Or if you wanna take some of the assets and kind of use them the way you want to and kind of make it the way you want to, you guys can do that as well. I will give you guys every single image that you guys see and I will go step by step on how to make it from scratch. So before we get too far into today's video, if you guys haven't already left a like on this video, and also just subscribe to my channel please make sure to go ahead and do so i got some more fortnite tutorials coming very soon and i also have some really cool video ideas as well coming very very soon and i've also been uploading a lot more than i normally do so i'd really appreciate it if you guys could support this video as much as you guys can but i think that's enough for the intro let's go ahead and just jump into today's video all right, so first I'm gonna go through the assets that I'm gonna provide for you. Now they all will be in the link in the top of the description in a Google Drive if you guys do wanna download all of them at one time, which is what I would recommend. I'd recommend just going through, downloading them all and tossing them in a folder on your desktop, kind of like how I have here. Now, if I go into it, these will all be in here except the text file, or not the text file, the font file, I believe. Um, I'm not sure if I can put the font file in a Google Drive, but if you guys do wanna use the same font that I use in the um, banner, you guys can just search on Google Burbank Big Condensed Bold and it will come up and you guys can download it, unzip the file and then download it to your desktop and just do the same thing I do. But we have both of the 3D renders as well. We have some manipulation stuff as well. We also have some smoke to add and we also have the background image plus the grunge that I actually added as well. And I'm gonna show you guys all of these extra stuff that you have to do to make it all kind of look cohesive. Also, I'll show you guys the banner in full effect here. I'm sure you guys saw it in the thumbnail, but this is like what the full version looks like. As you guys can see, it's pretty, you know, detailed, pretty in depth, as you guys can see here. We've got effects going over the back one, so it's a little more faded out. We also got some smoke going on in front and behind and in between the actual um, 3D renders as well. We got some rocks, we got some effects going on. We got some effects going on in the background. I think it looks pretty cool. I actually made this for one of my subscribers, so make sure you guys go ahead and leave a comment in this video. And I'm gonna be choosing a person to make for my next tutorial, whether it's a banner, a thumbnail, a profile picture, I'll be making something for my subscribers going on in the next tutorials. So make sure to drop a comment on this video and I'll be choosing someone for the next video. Let's go out of here. This is actually the PFP I made my boy Frizzy. If you guys want a tutorial on this, make sure to let me know as well. I'm not gonna be showing you guys how to make the PFP today, but only the banner. But I thought the PFP turned out really good, but just let me know in the comment section down below. Top link in the description to download all of this stuff. I would just recommend downloading it all before we even get into it. But I'm gonna get out of there. We're gonna hop right into Pixlr. Now we're gonna go ahead and just click on Pixlr and we're gonna click on Pixlr E. And now I can show you guys that right here that I actually did go ahead and made the entire thing in Pixlr before, but I'm also gonna just go and start over fresh to show you guys how to do everything for yourselves but yes it's all here all the effects and everything so it's going to back out and we're going to go to create new now what we're going to have to do here is i'm just going to name it fortnite banner and then we need to do the width and the height now if we go down here as you guys can see here this is actually um a template for youtube banners so this gives you the exact like format for mobile and tablet and then desktop and then tv as well all right so if we go to details the width is actually 2560 and the um, height is actually 1440 pixels. So we need to remember that, write it down or something. So when we go back into Pixlr, what we're gonna do for width is we're gonna go to 2560 and we're gonna go to 1440. And I'm just gonna do, leave the background as what it is. And I'm just gonna name it Fortnite Banner, Fortnite Banner and I'm just gonna hit create. And then what I can do here is I'm gonna go to layer, add image as layer. And I'm just going to go to that template that I had. I have a lot of stuff on my desktop here, but this is the template and we're gonna double click it. And now we have it open. Now this template will also be in the Google Drive that I shared in the top of the description as well as everything else. But as you guys can see here, it's already fit perfect as we made the dimensions perfect for the actual template. So now we're gonna take the template and we are going to lock it because we do not need to move it at all. It should not be moved at all because once you move it everything's going to be messed up because it's not going to be in the right format it just it needs to be right where it is right when you put it in so let's go ahead and start with the background right away guys we're gonna hit layer add image as layer and i should probably clean up my other monitors because my desktop is messy but i'm in assets we're gonna go ahead and open up that stark background right away and what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna line it up right on the top here and then i'm just going to make it significantly larger 
maybe stretch it out just a tad too. I just need to make it big enough to basically cover that whole entire thing. All right, so now what we're gonna, we're gonna do here is we're gonna go here and we're gonna go to hidden and it's actually going to just make it kind of just go away for a little bit, but I'll show you guys how to unhide it after. But we're gonna go to the lasso tool here and we're gonna click on the polygon up here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on this corner right here and I'm just gonna get rid of all this unused gray space down here because this is TV, so we don't have to worry about TV at all, realistically. We're going to make sure it goes all the way along the bottom. We're gonna leave a little extra space to give us you know, a little bit to work with. We're gonna click right here again to create a point. We're gonna click again here. I don't need to add. We're gonna click again in that corner and then we're gonna go back right to where we started and we're gonna click again. And as you guys are gonna see, it's gonna select that gray area down there. Now we're actually gonna go back to the background. We're gonna click visible, exit out, and then I'm gonna hit the delete button on the stark background. Make sure you select it before and hit the delete button. And as you guys can see here, it just deletes all that extra space that we don't need. We're gonna hit click select and deselect and now we're back to where we want to be. So we're gonna start with adding the effects to the background that we want to add. So we're gonna click on the background, you're gonna to go to adjustment and we're gonna to go to brightness and contrast. Now first I like to up the contrast a little bit. We're gonna lower the brightness just a tad. We click apply, we're also gonna to go to adjustments, we're gonna to go to hue and saturation and we're gonna take that saturation and we're just gonna lower the saturation a bunch. Now the reason we're doing this is just to add a little bit of a grunge type feel to the project. And we're just gonna hit apply there. And as you guys can see here, it just gives it a little bit more of like a dull look, which I kind of like personally. Next, we're gonna do a little bit of a, uh, I believe it's like a filter to this. So what we're gonna do here is make sure we're clicked on the background over here and go to filter. And I believe it was fringe. And then what you guys can do is kind of just drag it and just find a kind of effect that you like. I kind of like to usually do it just a little bit, anywhere around negative three, negative four, negative five. We're gonna click apply. As you guys can see here, it adds a little bit of stuff we don't need on the bottom. So I'm just gonna go to the erase tool, which I believe this guy right here. We're gonna click on the background and we don't need this extra stuff down here. So I'm just gonna erase it real quick. There we go. Go back to the select tool. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add the grunge effect. So hit layer, add image as layer. And in the folder that you guys downloaded from the description, click on the grunge effect PNG and open that. And now what you guys can do here is just kind of line it up again to the top, like I said before with the background. Also, you can lock the background because we're really not gonna be you know, doing much with that anymore either. But we're gonna get it about halfway through the project. As you can see, you're about halfway through, about the same side. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the grunge effect, and we're also gonna go to the polygonal lasso. Again, polygonal, and we are going to click over here. We're gonna kind of do the same thing we did before and just cut out that unnecessary space. We don't need it. Deselect. And what we're gonna do is now just right click, or not right click, but click on these three dots next to the grunge effect. And we're gonna go to duplicate layer and go to the arrow. And now we're just gonna drag it onto the other side. And I think we are looking just about good. Now I'm gonna do the, um, I'm gonna go to blend mode and we're gonna go to screen for each grunge effect. Cause now we have two, we're gonna do screen for both. Also, sorry if I'm going super quick through all of these. This is more of like an in-depth tutorial because everything is gonna look pretty nice at the end, but just stick with me, guys. Feel free to rewind it and rewatch something over if you're not getting it or turn down the playback speed if you do want to. But we're also gonna, gonna change the transparency. We're just gonna lower it a little bit to make it blend in a little bit more on both of them. I'm gonna do it to about like 60, 50, there we go starting to kind of come together here, I think. Now let's go ahead and focus on text and the 3D renders that we're also going to add. So we're gonna click layer, add image as layer. I'm just gonna add both of these, I'm gonna layer, add image, both of these uh, 3D renders right away, just to kind of get it out of the way. Go down here, we're gonna kind of just drag that to the area that we kind of had it at before. Go down here, drag. And I believe this is about where it was in the uh, 
in the thumbnail, I believe. So Manic 1 is the one in the background. Manic 2 is actually the one in the front. So we're gonna do two over one, as you guys can see here, so it goes a little bit over. And then we're just gonna add a little bit of contrast to each um, PNG just to make it look a little better. So we're gonna go to Manic 1. We're gonna go to Adjustment, Brightness, and Contrast. We're gonna drag that contrast up a tad. Manic 2 adjustment brightness and contrast we're going to drag that contrast up as well just to give it a little bit nicer and richer colors now we're going to drag the one below and we're going to actually drag that under both grunge effects to kind of give that one a little bit of a grunge effect over that because i think it does look nice also don't worry about the bottom being a little bit extended over the bottom you're not going to see it in the banner at all you guys can cut it out if you really want to i'm not going to next let's focus on the text so we're going to go to the text tool we're going to click add text and as you guys can see here, I already have the Fortnite or Burbank big condensed font in here. You guys can use whatever font if you guys want to use the same one. I explained earlier how to get it, but we're just going to put Frizzy. Actually, I believe I had, if we go to settings here, you can go to italic, which is actually what I had before. And we've got Frizzy here. We're going to go size. We're going to drag it a bit bigger here. Now, if you guys want to use a different color text, you can, you know, completely up to uh, you guys. But we're going to have the text overlapping. A little bit on that rocket as you guys can see in the thumbnail now I'm actually gonna duplicate that layer and I'm gonna drag one of the text so there's we have two text layers right now we're gonna drag one underneath the front rocket and then the top copy we're gonna go to transparency and we're gonna drag the transparency all the way to about seven or eight ten anything pretty low as you guys can see here it's just barely over and we're actually going to take that front copy and we are going to go to layer and we are also going to rasterize that layer as well so now it's an image layer now if we go to edit i believe and we go to stroke we can actually get that stroke and we go to outline only i believe yeah we can get just that little bit of an outside and then we can go to about size seven make sure you click that outline only because it's going to give you the outline of that front one and then we can just go to opacity and just lower the opacity a little bit and it starts to blend in a little bit and we can click apply. Then we're gonna drag the transparency up a little bit. I think I had it a little bit too low. There we go. As you guys can see here, I didn't do it quite exactly how I did in the thumbnail, but it looks fairly similar. You guys can see a little bit of an outline. I just think it's kind of a cool effect in my opinion. But what you guys can do from here and what I didn't do is you can add your socials down here if you want to. You just go to add another text player and just, you know, twitch.tv slash frizzy. Uh, instagram.com slash frizzy you know whatever your guys' socials are you can add them up to you now we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of the rocks on the left and right side and then we will be done we're gonna layer add image as layer we're gonna go ahead and find these rocks oh don't want to move that all right so we're gonna actually grab these rocks and we're gonna put them on the about the left side right about here now we're also going to go to filter and make sure we're clicked on the rocks and go again to fringe like we did before and add a little bit of that effect to the rocks. I think it looks pretty cool in my opinion. Maybe or anywhere between 10 and 20. We're gonna click apply. And then we're also gonna go to the three arrows on the rocks. We're gonna go to um, transparency and we're just gonna drag it down just a hair just to kind of make it blend into the background a little bit we can also go to the eraser tool and kind of um just get rid of some of these extra you know rocks down here that we don't really need if you guys want to you can use the polygonal lasso again to do this if you guys really want it to like look that nice but you don't really have to if you don't want to we can also do that for up here as well if we really want to just to get rid of some of that stuff there we go you select and then i'm actually just going to duplicate that rock layer for the other side and then what you guys can also do with the rocks is go to edit transform and flip horizontal and it's just going to flip it and then we can line it up again just like how we had it on the other side and i'm going to click enter and then also again we can use the polygonal lasso to kind of cut out all that extra stuff we don't need if you want to all right so it's looking pretty good to me we're going to focus on the smoke a little bit on these two characters now we're going to go to manic one which is the one behind and then drag the transparency down just a tad make it blend in a little bit and now we're going to go to layer add image as layer and we're going to go to smoke and i'm just going to rotate it a little bit here 
I think I had it right about here. And then I just have it over the character a little bit. And we're gonna click on that smoke, which is up here. And we're gonna drag the transparency down a tad. And it should be good there. And now we're just gonna cut out, again, the extra smoke that we don't need by doing this guy right here. Clicking each time we need to make a point and hitting delete and then select deselect. So I think this is the final product here. If you guys have any questions about this tutorial in general, make sure to go ahead and leave it in the comment section down below. I will answer all of them to the best of my ability. If you guys wanna see more like in-depth tutorials just like this, like making some really cool stuff on Pixlr that I think you could probably easily make in Photoshop as well, let me know in the comment section down below. I think this was a really fun project for me. If you found this video helpful at all, make sure to go ahead and leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. Let's go ahead and also just save this quick so I can show you guys how to save it as like a high quality image. We're gonna click file, save. We're gonna make sure it's .jpg right here. Drag it all the way up to 100. Make sure width and height is 2560 by 1440. Just name it whatever you want. Click download. And then if I open it right away, don't need that. As you guys see here, we have the full HD version, which as you guys can see, I recreated from scratch. I think it looks pretty cool in my personal opinion. I probably could have done the smoke a little bit better. You guys might be able to do it a little bit better than me, but I appreciate you guys for watching this video. I will catch you guys in the next video on the channel. Thanks for watching. Peace.